Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the refresh rate on your receiver. There would be two reasons why you would wanna do this. So the first is you're finding that you're really burning through your battery really quickly on your receiver. Uh, and in that case, you're gonna to wanna to lower your um, refresh rate. That's gonna increase the longevity of your uh, battery life. Or in the second more common case, uh, you want to uh, increase the amount of times your receiver is updating its position um, to the data collector. So this is, this is particularly useful when you're staking and you want to get right onto that perfect location. Um, you're going to want to get um, an update to your position um, more often than not. So the faster that is, the easier it is to get precisely on the right point. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I've just got Field Genius open and I've already connected to my Hemisphere S631 receiver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the top right corner where I've got that wrench, screwdriver and three switches button there. And that's going to bring up my instrument settings screen. So here you can see I've got a whole host of different options. So from this screen, I can also change like my radio frequencies, my tilt mode, uh, my fix mode, all that kind of stuff, my fixed parameters, a whole a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, for the point of this video, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom there, and you can see that I have a position update rate. So if I click that, um, you can see that I have it set to the lowest setting, so 1 hertz or once, uh, once per second. Uh, and let's say I want it to be faster, I need a, a more accurate position, I'm going to change it to 5 hertz. Uh, just by clicking it here and that's going to bring up my instrument settings warning here and it's just going to tell me that this only applies to staking information which you know i as i said at the beginning of the video this is particularly useful for the staking application um so that's what i'm going to want to do so i'm just going to hit continue there and that's just going to set my receiver so instead of sending uh, corrections back at one hertz it's going to now send it at five hertz and that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any of the other videos on our YouTube channel, uh, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or you can visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.